Yo, so this is so random. I, I just want to, I, I just want to talk to someone about this. So I will, I have a princess party this afternoon and I woke up with a big fat fucking volcano on my, like you see it right here, right? Like it's, and it's right there. I wasn't even planning on putting on eyelashes today, but, um, I was like, okay, I need to pull the focus away from my pimple. And, um, I was like, why do we break out in the first place in certain areas of our face? Because it's always right here. It's always right here when I break out. So I, I just Googled it. Yo, thank goodness for Google. What a time to be alive right now. Um, okay, so I thought I'd share why we break out in certain parts of our face. <laughs> it's so random. It's probably gonna get, like, it's not useful. Like, I don't know a lot of guys that break out. So, like, if any girl's watching this, like, I hope this is helpful. Or any guys, you know, whatever. You can't see it. Thank, thank you. You're just being nice, but thank you. Um, okay. So when you break out on your hairline, you need to check out your um, your hair care routine. Or even if you're washing your hair in the first place, like make sure that you're washing your hair. Um, when you break out on your cheeks, this is a fun fact because I do break out on my cheeks. Um, it's because, you have a because of dirty pillows and your cell phone, which makes so much sense because I always have my cell phone on this cheek. It's always this cheek that breaks out. Yo, this is brilliant. Um, I'm so excited about this. Um, on your jawline is hormones. I broke out very heavily in my jawline as, as a teenager. So, um, yeah. Um, uh, acne in your forehead or nose. Okay, ready? Ready? Stress, fatigue, or touching your face. That makes sense now. It, <laughs> stress, definitely. What am I supposed to do, though? Don't be stressed. Yeah, you're right. So, um, yeah, forehead and nose is a sign of stress and fatigue. And I'm both stressed and fatigued um that was it so what i did this morning was i kept thinking to myself don't touch it don't touch it don't touch it so i thought okay what's a really fast fix that i can do for cheap to like make minimize minimize the the size of it and the redness of it so i thought about um when they get rid of warts they freeze it and i was like i can't buy like a freezer at <laughs> walmart so i was like you idiot ice so I, so I just got an ice cube and I just rested it on my face while I meditated. I walked to Walmart this afternoon and I, I put it on my face. I was looking so stupid at Walmart. But I'm like, it's Walmart. Everyone here is crazy. So, um, so yeah, the, I, I placed an ice cube on it and like it, it helped it a little bit. It's definitely smaller. It's not as red anymore. But, um, hopefully that's helpful to someone. Get an ice cube and just rest it on there. Cool. Oh, should I do a video on this? This is a good idea. I don't know. Why not? Why not? Why not? I'm so going to get wine after this party because I know that these kids are going to stress me out. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>